Hello, math friends. Welcome to A Squared Math and Stuff. Today's example, we are looking at calculating the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix using the minors and cofactors. So this is the first method I'm going to show you. In my next video, we're going to have a different method called the lattice method. Before I go ahead and start working on this example, I want to show you a little trick that I mentioned in my previous videos on calculating minors and cofactors, but I didn't get into the details. So I want to focus on the cofactor portion. There's a little trick for cofactors. And if you recall, the cofactor is calculated by taking negative 1 raised to the row plus the column multiplied by the minor of that row and column. So I'm just going to focus on this negative 1 raised to the i plus j, or our row plus column, because there's patterns in here. Since the row and column values will never change when we add, say, 2 plus 3, it's always going to be 5, um, we can create a shortcut when working with our cofactors. So if we look at the, this focus part of our cofactor for a 3 by 3 matrix, if row 1, column 1, we have negative 1, we raise that to the 1 plus 1. Uh, let's say row 3, column 2, we have negative 1 raised to the 3 plus 2. So these values, this exponent, will never change. So that means this uh, negative 1 to the 5th power will always remain negative 1. So we can use a little shortcut, and that matrix looks like this. So every time we are calculating the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, you're going to see me write down this little cheat code here because then I don't have to write down these values every single time. So it's easier to work with signs, understanding the signs, rather than plugging in more calculations. So you'll see what I mean as I'm going through these examples. Let's go ahead and write that sign matrix up here so we can quickly deter, uh, quickly reference it. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. And you can see that this always flip-flops between positive and negative for each row and each column. So as long as you remember that you're flip-flopping signs and you start with that positive in your row one, column one, it's not hard to remember this pattern. We use this when calculating the determinant of a three by three. So the formula here is how to calculate the determinant of a three by three. What we do is we take those cofactors that we learned how to calculate in the previous video and we multiply it by that number at the intersection uh, when we are calculating the cofactor. And then I'm going to show you how to apply this sign, how to apply the value that of the intersection, and then work with that cofactor. So let's go ahead and start calculating this uh, determinant of this 3 by 3. I'm going to keep this symbol or this pattern up here for you guys. I'm going to work with covering up row one. When you pick a row or a column to, again, delete, delete, uh, we're actually covering it up. So when we're working with the determinants, you pick a row or a column that will consistently be deleted, and then we work our way through uh, everything else. So I am going to cover up row one here. So row one will consistently be covered up and then I'm going to work my way across my columns and cover those up. So row one will always be covered up and then I'll cover up uh, column one. Then I'll move on to column two being covered up and then I move on to column three. So let's get to this. We are calculating the determinant of this matrix. We'll call this matrix A. And we are looking to calculate the determinant of it. All right, by this pattern, I'm going to do row one so that we consistently follow what's up here. We are looking at the value of row one, column one. So my value at row one, column one is a six because that is where I intersect when I cover up row one, column one. So I'm gonna write down a six here. 
But then I'm also going to now take a look at this sign matrix and I'm going to work with the sign that's at row one, column one. So I'm going to work with a positive sign here. I'm going to show you where that comes from so I'm not just throwing it in here because we have to calculate the cofactor and if you recall the cofactor is negative 1 times i plus j which is 1 plus 1 times the minor or that made a uh, determinant of those that 2 by 2 that's left of row 1 column 1. So negative 1 squared is what? It's positive. It's a positive 1. So that's what we have here. Then I'm plugging in that intersection value. In this case, it's 6. And now I'm going to work with that minor. So again, the minor is if we cover up the row, cover up the column, we have to figure out the determinant of that 2 by 2 matrix that's left. So we are going to uh, write down 4, negative 2, negative 4, and 5. So 4, negative 2, negative 4, and 5. And we have to do this process here all the way across row 1 as we have it covered up. So row 1 is covered up. We just covered up column 1. Now I'm going to move to column 2. So the intersection number is 5. So let's write a 5. We have this intersection. And then I'm going to write the matrix for that minor. I have a negative 5, 1. So negative 5, 1, negative 2, and 5. And then I'm going to look at my sign chart. And I'm on the second value of the row, of row 1. So I'm looking at a negative. So I'm going to put a negative sign here because that comes from this position. We're in the second position of row one. All right, now we're going to cover up column three. So column three has an intersection of negative three with row one. So we cover up and we write down the negative three. I'm gonna put that in parentheses because it has a negative sign. I write down my 2 by 2 determinant that's left, which is negative 5, 4, 1, and negative 4. And then again, I look at my sign matrix. This has a plus sign, so I bring that down here. So I have a plus. So you can see I have plus, minus, plus, just like I do in the sign matrix. Now we're going to go ahead calculate these determinants of these two by twos, and then we have to multiply them by what's outside by that scalar factor. So let's go ahead and do that. We have this plus sign times six. We have to multiply all of that by the determinant of this two by two. So four times five minus negative four times negative two. I then move on to my minus sign, and then I have my five. Oops, let me close this parentheses. I have to multiply that by the determinant of this two by two, so a negative five times five minus one times negative two. And then finally, I go to this last set here. A positive times a negative is negative, and then the three work with the determinant of that two by two, and we will have negative five times negative four minus, I won't be able to fit it there, one times four, so I'll just put in the four there, squeeze it in. And now we work through this do all of that algebra. I'm going to drop the plus sign because we don't need to write it. So we'll have 6 times 20 triple negatives give us negative. 4 times 2 is 8. And then we'll have minus 
5 times a negative 25. Negative times negative is positive 2. And then we have negative 3 times a positive 20 minus 4. So let's keep on working our way down. We have 6 times 12 minus 5 times a negative 23. And then a negative 3 times 16. Multiply everything together here and we get a 72 plus 115 minus 48 for a final value of 139. So this is the value of the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. So again, we take the value, oops, sorry, can't see that. We take the value of the intersection, multiply it by the cofactor. The cofactor takes a shortcut by applying the sine matrix and inserting it in between the determinant of the two by two that's left over when we delete the row and column and that A value. So let's do another example. In this example, we have zeros. Anytime you have a zero, you or zeros, pick the row or the column that has the most zeros in it because we're going to end up multiplying by a zero. And anything that's multiplied by zero, ah, turns to zero. And then it, our, our life is a little bit easier, right? So let's do that. This time, I'm going to work with uh, a column. So I'm going to use a column as my A values here. So I'm going to choose column two because it has that zero. And you'll see what I mean by it making our life just a tad bit easier. We are still working with that plus minus plus matrix. So let's write that again. We have plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus. And the same process we worked with above. So we cover up column two. We don't change that. But what we do change this time, we're going to change which rows we're covering up or deleting along the way. So the first row, excuse me, the first row we're going to cover up is row one. So we will work with the intersection number, which is a two, and then the determinant of the remaining four numbers, which are zero, three, negative one, and negative three. So let's go ahead and do that. The sign, since we're working with um, column two, we are working with these signs as we go down the rows. So the first sign we're working with is a negative. So determinant of A, we have a negative times the intersection, which in this case is our two. So we have the intersection of two times the determinant of what's left over. So cover up row one, cover up column two. Again, we have that zero, three, negative one, three. So zero, three, negative one, three. We're going to move down to covering up row two. And then our matrix will be the negative three, three, negative three, negative three. That's a lot of threes. Our A value will be negative one, and the sign we are working with is positive. So we take this positive sign, put it here. The intersection value, which is a negative one, put that in parentheses here. And then we write our remaining numbers for the determinant. So we have the negative three, negative three, three, negative three. And let's do it one more time, moving on down the row. So we now have row three. We are then working with the negative sign. We cover up row three. We get, cover up row three, column two. The determinant that we are working with is a negative three, zero, negative three, negative one. 
So put the minus sign. The intersection value is 0. Write the determinant. So that was negative 3, 0, negative 3, and negative 1. Just to double check. Intersection is 0, negative 3, 0, negative 3, negative 1. Okay. So here's everything set up. Find the determinant of our 2 by 2s. And we have negative 2 times 0 times 3 minus 3 times a negative 1. Positive times negative gives us negative 1 times negative 3 times negative 3 minus 3 times negative 3. And then since we have a zero here, we really don't even have to write this down because it zeroes it out, but I'll show you how. So we have minus zero times the determinant of this two by two. So negative three times negative one minus zero times negative three. And zero times anything here gives us zero. So this whole matrix goes to zero. You could actually cross it off here. And then we only have to work with these two values. Let's finish this off. We then have a negative 2 times 0 plus 3, and then a negative 1 times 9 plus 9. All right. Multiplying all of this together, we end up with a negative 2 times 3 minus 1 times 18. So negative 6, negative 18 for a final answer of negative 24. So that is how you work with a 3x3 three three matrix in determining the um, the determinant and how we apply the sine matrix both horizontally and vertically. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to work with the lattice method. If you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button down below and I'll be chatting with you later.